Right then. I'm leaving Al Alfred for now. I don't know whether I'm coming back through there because you can come here and do a walk over to that other side. We're to, not actually to the beacon, but I'm um, done beacon, but on that side of the hill, the other side of the A39. You can come through this village to do that. And now going up to rejoin, you can also come to Bos get up here if you want to go back to Bosington or on, like I'm doing, I'm going to Selworthy in, in a sheltered area. And at the moment, there's a lot of men doing tree felling. Right. Okay. There we go, yeah. Earlier I was the other side of that path up there and I went down into the village from that side. This takes me up to something called the Alan Fred Fountain or something. Magnificent views everyone. That's the village. I spoke to a gentleman who lives in one of the um, properties there. They're all rented properties. It belongs to the National Trust. It's got a post office and cafe, but I thought I was my stop will be Selworthy. I'm very determined to get to a church. I've done Porlock Church. I spent a good half an hour doing that one. I didn't do every gravestone though. Um, I might have to go back and look in that graveyard because. It could be that's where the USA RAF bloke was um, buried, one of them, for that, in that plane that crashed in World War II after it hit Bosington Hill, landed in the salt marshes near Porlock. There's a memorial there. That's on previous videos. A little bit of climbing now. A little bit of climbing and then after a little bit of climbing you go down again and then we've got to go up but I haven't decided yet it's a possibility I will come back this route and do the other side of the a39 today to do a little circular I'm just going to see how it goes otherwise I can come back here and go to Bosington or I can get up on the top again and, get, and enter uh, Porlock area from there you can tell this is a big hill we're starting to zigzag right Just do a little bit more, just so that you can see the sort of terrain I'm having to master. There's a gate up there, and there'll probably be more signs. I'm surprised I've got any energy actually because of all the walking I did yesterday. But um, this is a good walk at the moment because I'm in the shade. Oh, style, but I don't know if I've got to go. This is where it gets confusing. You get here, no, it's still zigzagging. Does that take you to the fountain? This is where they don't tell you anything. Here we are. Because this looks to me... This doesn't look like a way I've got to go. I'll tell you why. Because it's taking you back there. Back that way. And I've just come up from this field here. 
So I can't imagine I'd come up from this field if I've then got to come back in it. You see what I mean? So I'm going to carry on with the zigzag. But look at this lovely place I've got where I'm sat. Look, I can see the Silver Snake, which is a little road which cars can go on, a minor road. You follow all that up to Dunkery Bridge. I walked up that. I walked nearly all up that about a fortnight ago. I'd already done the beacon and walked all around that hill there. And then decided that was enough for that day and walked up there. But I had got to the beacon earlier in the daytime. So now I'm sat over this side. Early, two weeks ago I was sat walking over there and I looked over here. And now I'm over here looking over there. I always find that fascinating. It's a nice little place just to have a little sit actually as well. Right, over and out. Right then, no signs by the way. Nothing to tell you anything. You just have to do a lot of guesswork on these walks, I found. The little guide I've got in my pocket is pretty good. I should have got it out there and just had a look at it, but I'm, I'm hoping that my instinct tells me this zigzag will take me up to some fountain. But it seems to me I'm backtracking on myself. So what I'm going to have to do is stop and look at the book and do it now before you go any further, Sheila. Do it now, girl. Stop. Let's just stop by this tree because it seems to me I'm going back again. I can hear the woodman. It seems to me I'm going back again. And again. Look at the views over to the Porlock Weir and the hills further over. They've all got names, each of those outcrops have all got names, by the way. That's a walk in itself, just doing that, see? I mean, I could come over here again, just do a couple of days while walking, couldn't I, you know? Now I found a campsite. No, I there again, he might shut in October, I ain't sure. Anyway, I've reached this seat dedicated to M May Owen, Forever in Our Hearts, 1925 to 2017. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you which one I came up. Maybe I came up that one. I've got no idea. Anyway, this is this fountain, St Agnes Fountain, which is put on there like that. Now, if you want to go up to Bosington Hill, you go up that way. That probably takes you on that very thin walk that I went on. So that, that would be one way back I could go if I t decide. So there's the fountain. St Agnes Fountain, coming off the hills. <sighs> yeah, earlier I think I just bypassed and went straight down. Now, Mitchum's seat, so worthy. Up this way. I hope it's not so worthy beacon, because that isn't the plan. That isn't the plan. So the zigzagging, what they should have said about the zigzagging really, because the zigzagging is a, something you remember, like the Minehead walk. Leaving Minehead up through the zigzag path. Right. All I've got to hope now is that, I mean, I don't want to go up to Selworthy Beacon. I want to go to Selworthy. So I'm hoping I'm on the right track. But it's going up now. We've got to go up. At least it's cool. We've got to go up for a little while. Before I go up... Of course, I haven't planned properly. didn't bring the jelly today. 
Right, over and out. <laughs>